so seems like there's more places. Good morning, Providence Oaks. We're starting the day as we always do with a PO positive or pet B, followed by the weather. PO positive or pet P. Dale, what's it gonna be? It's a positive all the way, Jack. I went to Moe's Diner yesterday, and I don't think I've ever had blueberry pie that tasted so good. Is this Main Street? Please, how do I zoom in? Oh, there you go. Video rental store. Uh, parcels. It's not. What the hell happened? Okay. Oh, it's fast travel. Three, see if three, five, one range. What happens if I pick like, oh, the wrong one? That's heavier than I thought. Filled with VHS, the Ghostbusters, Karate Kid, Back to the Future, dude. Back to the present. Kung Fu Kid. Welcome to the Flick Shack. How can I help you? The maze. Got a package <laughs> for you, man. <laughs> Hold on. You're our new postal worker? Talk about not looking the part. <laughs> I could say the same thing about you. You could, but you'd be wrong. I look exactly like I own a video rental place. If you were looking to cast a movie and needed someone to play the owner of a video rental place, you'd attach a picture of me to the call sheet. <laughs> True enough. I'm Meredith, by the way. Meredith Weiss. Angie, Eastman. So, what brings you to Providence Oaks? I grew up here. Oh, grew up here, and now I'm back to do my dad a favor. Ah, I myself have been here for six years. And what brings you here? Didn't grow up here, came to do myself a favor. <laughs> Touché, Mrs. Eastman. Miss. Miss? So you're ready to get some, uh... So your dream rent? was to <laughs> rent out videotapes? Not a dream, per se. More like a vision. <laughs> Figured in a sleepy town like this, people don't have much to do anyways. Might as well watch a flick, right? Well, other than enjoy the scenery. Scenery schmeery. Why stare at a boring lake when you can go to outer space and watch the Death Star get blown up? Hmm, maybe I should watch more movies. Well, it was nice meeting you, Miss Eastman. Uh, call me Angie. And here, someone just returned this, and it should be right up your alley. The postman always rings twice? <laughs> My kind of humor. Well, I don't know anything else about you, Mrs. Temporary Postal Worker. <laughs> Miss. But touche, Angie. All right. I'll check it out if I have the time. Take your time. This isn't exactly the most popular flick in the shack. And there's plenty of choice, regardless. Okay. Well, it was nice meeting you, Miss Angie. Same here, Miss Meredith. Wait to see how they ruin Star Wars in the future. Look at all these fucking old school movies, dude. Like, are re repackaged and shit. Only three packages today, the rest are a bunch of mail. I see that I don't have like a design set route. It's like up to me where to go first. Just wanna watch the stars fall. Ooh, interesting. Those guard. Someone's got like a chocolate kind of. <laughs> I've never seen a circular box in a long time.
Commander Grace, we have established communication with ground control. Oh How do you wish to proceed? Tell them we've landed the rocket. Ground control, we have landed the rocket. We will now begin our experiments. Um, package for the Evans family? Just a minute. Commander Grace, permission to explore? Permission granted. Yep, we're the Evans family. Could I just <laughs> take that real quick? I'm kind of in the middle of a lunar landing. Sure, here you go. <laughs> nice helmet, by the way. Why, thank you. I actually modeled it on the Apollo 11 crew outfit. Wait, what? Meredith? Buzz Aldrin. Buzz Aldrin? <laughs> um, I'm sorry. Who are you? What? For real? Y you don't recognize your old best friend when you see her? Wait a minute. Kay? Great. And now I busted my colander. I knew opening the door in this thing was a bad idea. Wow, I didn't expect to see you here. That makes two of us. Got me there. You're Kay Evans now? Don't sound so surprised. But yes, I married Barry. Evans, I'm sure you remember our high school star quarterback. Mom! Be right there, Commander Grace! Scanning for alien life forms. That's my little scientist back there. She's crazy about space travel, as you may have guessed, even after the whole Challenger thing. You married Quarterberry? And had kids? I had no idea. Well, obviously a lot can happen in 22 years, so. Time flies. So I heard you were back in town for a while from Maureen. That's right. I ran into her yesterday at the diner. The kitchen caught fire, so your Uncle Stan is gonna have a field day. Nope. It's Moe's diner now. Like I said, a lot of things happened while you were away. Also, I work there now. At the diner. That's great. Maybe I'll drop by sometime. Yeah, we'll see. Ready for a liftoff! Listen, I'm sorry, but I don't really have time for this right now. Can't get stuck on the moon on my own, and I have to get ready for work. See you around, Em. <laughs> Good to see you, Kay. Evans! <laughs> Commander Grace, hold up! You'll never guess what I just found. You can say that again. I see. I <laughs> called her M. Or what is it? Meredith, dude. Then called her K because that's her name. <laughs> Get it, letters? Oh. She's getting too old. Her eggs are getting rotten, dude. No, I'm just joking. She get that nervous laugh. She doesn't have any kids yet. She doesn't have any kids yet and isn't married. More power to her, I guess. A geese. It's not like I'm married. But for women, it's like different, man. I don't know. I don't know. Same handwriting as the one I delivered next door. I'm guessing party invitations?
car. Some are faster, some are slowing, some are high and some are low. Dancing through the last days of Holy shit. I wish you could drive fast on the freeways. Hey, mom and dad have new neighbors. Siegler, huh? Don't think they ever mentioned them. I know I could fast travel, but it's like I would rather like to uh, check out. Crazy cat lady. What happened? I give it to her. Meryl, dear! So glad you could come by. Oh, it's quite the emergency. What's wrong, Miss Jenkins? It's poor little Mortimer. He's fallen ill, I think. One minute he was full of life. The next, he, well, he just wasn't. I'm not a vet. He's almost catato- Sorry, heard it when I said it. <laughs> Please, Meredith, be a dear and take poor Mortimer to Mr. Mackey. He runs the bait shop by the lake. He'll know what to do. I'm sorry, I don't think I could do that. No, I'm just joking. Sure, I'll get right on it. Here, little kitty, come on. Wonderful! Be nice to Meredith Mortimer. Don't shed too much hair in her van now. Bye, Miss Jenkins. Time Bye, to... Meredith. Uh, See you to... soon, Mortimer. Time to infect all the mail with mail with cat and uh, dander. So now I fucking uh, everyone's gonna get allergic reactions if they're allergic to cats. Small town, stuff like that. Yeah, it's on complete opposite. I wonder if we can use a controller. Okay. Oh, we can. Very chill game. Using a mouse and keyboard, but I don't think it's necessary. <laughs> I wanted to cut through, but I don't think that's safe. Right up in there, dude. Where's the package? I thought that it wasn't even in the back. Wait, what? Pick up. There we go. I'm gonna run with oh, R1. R2, I mean. Is it up there? Is it right here? Is 
shit. What the fuck? Throw the cat into the water, dude. Oh, there he is. Mr. Mackey, I know you're close, but... What? I'm Meredith Weiss. Yeah, yeah, Meredith Weiss. Thomas kid. I remember you running around the lake when you were yay high, getting into all sorts of trouble. What can I do you for? Mildred Jenkins tells me you know a lot about animals, and, well... Oh, hi there, little fellow. What's your name? Apparently it's Mortimer. Well, pleased to meet you, Mort. Hmm, he's a little sluggish. Has Millie been feeding him cupcakes again? Oh, you can't do it. There you go. Cupcakes? I hope not. <sighs> Leave him with me. I'll put him on a diet today. Maybe even catch him a fish if they're biting. With any luck, he should be up and running in the morning. Oh, good. Thank you, sir. By the way, how are you? I'm fine, I'm fine. You go back to running around that lake, Miss Weiss. Okay. Bye, Mr. Mackey. Bye, Mortimer. I was gonna, like, teleport, but I'd even do, like, a full lap around this place, so she might know she's gonna see stuff in the corner or something. I'll just drive there. <clears throat> Get photo camera. Okay. Floating rocks over there. Or is that snow? Used to think our Span or Dam was just as big and famous as Hoover Dam. Then I visited Hoover Dam. Hoover Dam is fucking gigantic. Oh, fuck. Three gorges. Sir, parcel for you. Hello? Anyone home? It's the mail. One minute, I'm busy. If you could just accept the parcel and let me be on my way. Is that a parcel for me? 
Yes, sir. Oregon Trail Motel. You can just put it on the counter. It's like nothing. Can't really. Can't really see what he's playing. I could just sit down on the bench. Time to finish the circular. Trying to do the Dead Motel series. Dan Bell. Oh boy. Oh, here they're revving up, dude. It's a little bit of work for for a whole day's work, whatever. It's a small town. It's a little town right by the way. That's pretty cool. I can fast travel and stuff. If I want. Hi. Oh, hi, Steve. How are you? Busy as two peas. Added 87 is really getting there. Hey, listen, you've got plenty of time, right? I guess, but that's nice for a change. Awesome, I need a favor. I sent a bunch of files your way. It's the retail pitch for Added 87. It's good, but not great. It needs your magic. Do you think you can add it? Huh? <laughs> Uh, I'm not sure. How many pages are we talking about here? It's not much. It's just the pitch, and there's also an instruction booklet. Can't be more than 100 pages. I could just send it to your post office, right? Yep. Can't miss. Awesome. Mail back to me as soon as possible. Priority mail. Thanks so much. Oh, I gotta run. Okay, Steve. Oh, one final thing. Now let this marinate. <clears throat> add it, 87. Add anything you like. It's fancy, right? Yeah, don't, don't tell me now. Uh, I got a jet. Bye. <sighs> Jesus Christ. All right. Well, let's watch this. Oh, 
Steve's parcel and a note from Tess. Hey, Em. Hope you're doing well. Steve told me you'd want to read through this monstrosity. Not sure if you really said that, but have a great time there anyways. Take care. Tess. Good morning, P.O. It's time for a P.O. Positive <laughs> or that Okay, folks. Let's see what it is today. The floor is yours, Angie. Good morning, Jack. I've got a pet peeve. Returned videos that have not been rewinded. I mean, really? Be kind and rewind. Thanks. Duly noted, Angie. And now, on to today's weather. Hello again. More mail for me? And the tape you gave me. Oh, wow. You watched it already? A drifter in a sleepy town, an affair, and a plot to kill a husband? <laughs> Not about mail delivery at all. But still pretty compelling, especially for such an old movie. It's a classic, and probably my favorite noir. They did a remake a couple years back, but it's, well... It's not as good. You can't beat Lana Turner's smoldering intensity. Yeah, she's great in it. I'm so glad you liked it. Most of the people here don't really appreciate the art of classic cinema. They just want to see Police Academy again. <laughs> <laughs> I'm afraid you're right. Pretty lonely being the only movie buff around. Well, keep feeding my VCR, and I'll be up to speed in no time. Will do. Let me think about it, and I'll get back to you. You know, it's good to see you. Any particular reason? Because I have a sneaky little plan. Oh, we're whispering now? I want <laughs> you to meet me, say, at, at five today. What? Like a date? <laughs> well, more like a business proposal. You in? I want a date. No, I'm just joking. I want a date. All right. I'm in. Hurrah! I'll see you this afternoon. Wait, where are we meeting up? Your place? It's 102 New Street, right? How the hell? Yes. How did you find that out? Looked up your last name in the Rolodex? Your parents are regular clients. I guess, but... It's settled then. See you at five, partner. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. We're both lonely 30-somethings, 30 right? We're both lonely 30-something now. Yeah, 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 yeah. Netflix and chill, dude. <laughs> Blockbuster and chill. Betamax, <laughs> Sony Betamax, and chill. Fucking hell. Oh. Is it this? Is it in this place? Let me step all over your grass. There we go. Here's your mail. Look at that train of dude. No, I'm just joking. Cold to sex, dude. Those guys.
Oh, somebody got a fucking diploma looking. Heavier than I thought. <laughs> it's a barrel, dude. Straight up gun barrel. Nope. No answer. What over here? No. Okay. Let's just leave this shit right here to get stolen. There you go. <laughs> ATV, dude. Oh, I'm picking up that cat. That's real. Let's see. How's the cat? Hi there, Mr. Mackey. How's Mortimer? Oh, good day, Meredith. Mort's fine, as I expected. It was just a little indigestion. Good night's rest and a bit of lake trout in the morning has done the little critter a world of good. Excellent. Miss Jenkins will be pleased. Let me take him off your hands. All right. <laughs> Bye, Mort. It's Anything else, Miss Weiss? Enjoying yourself so far? Yeah. I'm having fun, yes. Well, that's good. I'm guessing I'll see you around a lot more, Miss Weiss. For sure, Mr. Mackey. Have a nice day. You gonna carry the cat like that the whole time? Oh no, it has its own container again. So this is just a chill, relaxing game. Alright. Autopilot and oh, okay, so it doesn't. Okay. Fast travel. That's the case. I'm just gonna drive there myself. Wait, is there a fast travel?
That's lighter than I thought. Hi, Maureen. Hi, hon. How are you doing this fine day? Fine. I'm fine, but how are you? You know, with the kitchen exploding? Oh, that? <laughs> Nothing a fresh lick of paint and a mop couldn't fix. Doesn't mean to scare you. <laughs> Let's pick up where we left off, shall we? And one piece of blueberry pie? Ashley, one blueberry pie. Meredith Wise, back in Providence Oaks. How's life treating you, darling? It's all right, actually. I delivered a package to Kay at her house earlier. Yeah, she told me. How did that go for you? I think I put my foot in it, to tell you the truth. I can imagine it can be a lot to take in for the both of you, especially after being away for so long. Then again, there are some things that never change, right? You being one of them. <laughs> I will take that as a compliment. But I bet the diner looks a bit strange to you, doesn't it? It looks so different from how I remember it. Yeah, I decided it was time for a change. Didn't feel the same after my stand died. World keeps turning. Gotta keep moving along with it, right? Oh my gosh, Maureen, Stan died? I'm so sorry, I, I had no idea. Thank you, darling. But it's really okay. It's been 10 years already. 10 and a half, almost. Oh boy, did I love that man. <sighs> We'd been married for so long. It hit me like a brick. But after a while, I decided that sadness wasn't the only emotion I was allowed to have. That's not what Stan would have wanted either. That's really inspiring. Thank you, hon. I do appreciate that. Anyway, you have to get back up. So I did, for me, but also for Kay. She took her uncle's death pretty hard. I wish I'd known. Sorry for dumping all that on you like that, darling. Gosh, look at your face. I'm a bit surprised you didn't know. Didn't your parents tell you about it? Or Kay? They might have. I've been so involved in work. Oh, uh, it's okay, hon. I honestly don't give a hoot about any blame game. We all have our lives to live, but Kay's been through a lot. Uh, nursed her uncle through his illness, helping me out. I think seeing you again shook her up a little is all. She must have missed you during those days. I can imagine. It was good to see her again. I've missed her too. Then it sounds like you know what to do. Listen, Meredith, time marches on. And eventually you realize it's marching across your face. Life's too short. That's exactly why I decided this place could do with a repurpose after Stan passed. Fresh start. It's been Moe's Diner ever since. And believe it or not, business is better than ever. That's great to hear, Maureen. Congratulations. Why, thank you kindly. And listen, you check in with me and Kay again soon, you hear? Don't forget about what's important in life. Says the woman who forgot my blueberry pie. What the? Ashley? What happened to that pie? I'm so sorry, honey. I swear that kid. Well, that's no good. I expect pie next time. Huh? I'll hold you to that. You bet. Bye, Maureen.
Look who's back. <laughs> Mortimer! Oh, look at you! You're good as new! Yeah, Mr. Mackey did say not to feed him cupcakes. Hmm, I suppose he's right. It's, it's just that he likes them so much. Don't you, Mortimer? Anyway, thank you so much, Meredith. My pleasure. See you, Miss Jenkins. Call me Mildred, dear. Say goodbye to Meredith, Mortimer. There's a face I remember. Good morning, Mr. Harris. Hey there. More paperwork with my name on it? Well, take a look for yourself. Thanks. Oh, it gets worse every day. More bullcrap? Can you believe it? I've been taking care of this lakeside for years. And now they're gonna bulldoze it and build apartments. Oh, that's a shame. I'd hate to see the place I grew up ruined by an apartment building. What? You grew up here? Yes, my father was the mailman before me. Mr. Weiss? Ah, oh, so you're the prodigy he's always talking about. <laughs> Wouldn't surprise me. But tell me about that paperwork. They say you can file an official objection, but I'm not a great match with bureaucracy. I'd rather get the chainsaw and cut down Town Hall. Nothing a chainsaw can't handle. <laughs> Just kidding. It's a nice thought, though. Well, maybe I can help out. I'm better with paper than chainsaws. Would you? Awesome. I'll think about it. Have a great day. Bye, Robert. Hey, wait up. I'm done thinking about it. Maybe you'd want to go through all the files together? Tomorrow afternoon? At Moe's? Food and drinks on me. <laughs> that didn't take you long. Yeah, sorry. I, I blurted that out. But it's still a good plan, though. Okay, sure. Tomorrow afternoon at Moe's. Great. I'll make sure to bring all the files, and I'll see you there. <laughs> Can't fucking turn. Oh my god. How do I reverse? Oh, Q. Q is the worm. Gotta go back to my keyboard. 
That's the last of them. No, Angie Eastman, you can't really create a woman with a computer. What movie is that? It's called Weird Science. You really haven't heard of it? <laughs> it was a pretty big hit. I figured you with your computer background. All right, I'll add it to the huge mental list I've been compiling ever since we started talking. So that's Weird Science, Life of Python, Brian. Brian. Monty Python's Life of Brian. Right. <laughs> you know, you don't really look the part of a computer nerd, either. <laughs> I'll take that as a compliment. Thanks. Well, I do kind of have a thing for nerds. But I'm also a sucker for someone in uniform. So I guess you tick multiple boxes. <laughs> so... Any particular reason you're not at the Nerd Factory anymore? Let's just say I needed a change of scenery. Okay, well, I totally get wanting something different, anyway. I used to live in Los Angeles. Oh, really? Then, yeah. Providence Oaks is pretty different. <laughs> sure is. It's quieter, for one thing. Slower for another. Yeah, those are the two things I like best about it. Me too, I think. It took some getting used to. So tell me about this plan of yours. Is the suitcase part of it? Oh, right. It's simple. I want you to distribute movies all over Providence Oaks. You mean... For free? Yeah. You know the town, you're starting to know the people. Not all of them have VCRs yet, but that's why God invented movie boxes. And by God, I mean electronics companies. Look, it's a VCR in a box, and it's portable too, so you can take it to anyone. Old school. Oh, right. I think I've heard of these. Never seen one, though. I've made a list of potential customers and the movies I think they'll like. All you have to do is just deliver the movie box with a movie of their choice. Then you go and pick it back up once they've watched it. Okay, but what's the revenue model here? Oh, you! Not everything is about money. It's about promoting the store. Which, I guess, is ultimately about money. Here, I'll give you these two to start. These are for Lori. You know her, right? The mechanic girl at the gas station, right? Yes, good. I have these two for her. The love bug and... A nightmare on Elm Street. This one is about murders in a bathtub, right? Well, not exactly. You'll just have to watch it. But not before Lori gets a chance. I think she'll love it. After Lori gives back the box, I have a couple movies planned for Burt Mackey. They are Jaws and The Dirty Dozen. And that's it for now. If you're in, that is. So, you in? Sure. All right. These addresses seem to be on my route anyway. I'm in. All right. Thanks a bunch, babe. Now, do you have any more of this great coffee? I guess we're girlfriend. Actually, girlfriend. I really need to head back. Oh, what's the rush? I left the store unattended. Better get back. Oh, just have another cup of coffee? I'd love to, but I really can't. 
Thursday's usually one of the busiest days. Sorry, but I'll see you soon, okay? Bye, babe. Yeah, we're, we're girlfriend and girlfriend now. Yeah. <laughs> oh, evening. Oh, that's right, huh? Hello? Hey, Meredith. Hey, Dad! How's life? I heard something about poker, fishing, and margaritas. <laughs> Talk to Mom, huh? But yeah, can't complain. How about you? Do you like my job? I'm starting to love it. Being on the road, the freedom, the people. That's great to hear. Frank's quite the character, huh? Uh, Frank's quite the character indeed. Is he married? Frank married? Yes, to baseball. He places a bet every now and then. Nothing too serious. And what about Bert Mackey? Bert. Uh, Bert doesn't like to talk much, but he's got a heart of gold. Stay on his good side. Speaking of staying on the good side, your mom's telling me to hurry up. We're going to a movie. Okay, Dad, don't keep her waiting. What movie? Uh, Stand By Me. About <laughs> four Oregon boys in the 50s. Right up my alley. Sounds good. Say hi to Mom for me. Will do. Bye, Meredith. Gotta watch it. I work on the... I still have another job, you know. All right, here we go. Who's this? I hope we can say I'm a friend. Listen, you creep. It's not your money we want. It's your ass. I'm sorry to hear that. Like, comment, and subscribe, or I'll break your fucking legs.